how to make endless runner in Unity, adding obstacles. As you can see, this is the screen of the prefab. The thing I want to do right now is to add a simple obstacle. But how? Let me show you, it's easy. Just add a 3D object cube. Hmm. This is not where the cube should be. I should move it. Move it on the center. It doesn't matter. Set position to zero to make it centered. Now move it and this is how it should look like. I want to add some object like cylinder, for example. I made a 3D cone model in Blender because there is no cone in Unity. So I will drag it. And right now I will copy this cone to make sure that it looks like a real spike plate. Okay, this is how it looks like. I will try to play this game. Now, as you can see, it's not colliding. Maybe I haven't done something. But I know what's the problem. There is no C sharp script. You need to add it. And here it is. What you need to do right now is nothing but void on trigger enter. The thing you need to do right now is if other, which is the collider object, which is the player. Game object. This tells the script if the spike is colliding with the player. The player will come back to the start position. To do that, you have to select the player transform position. Player transform position equals not this line of code. New vector 3. You have to type new vector 3 because that's the new position that the player will be sent to. Like in the respawn script, it should be transform position x. That should be the position of the player, so we need to add a vector 3 for the position instead of transform position. Instead of adding that player prefab, you should do this. The player transform position. Find object of type, because we want to read the value. Player movement. Those are the values from the object that contains the script player movement. Save the script and go back to Unity. Okay, I'm in the game now. Here's the spike. Oh, I touch it. Ouch! It's working. This feels like a real game, but it's too far away from being a real video game. Don't worry, I will make more tutorials in the future. Have a good day.